good morning to all welcome to this video i am mrs v indra kumari assistant professor department of chemistry trinity college for women namakkal in previous class i have to discuss about introduction of electrochemistry and the theories of electrochemistry today i am going to explain uh, what are the types of batteries and uh, what are the uses of batteries in batteries we are going to see about introduction to the batteries voltaic cell common type of primary cell secondary cell lead acid cells batteries are two or more voltaic cell that are connected in a series to provide a steady dc voltage at the battery's output terminals the voltage is produced by a chemical reaction inside the cells electrodes are immersed in electrolyte which forces the electrical charge to separate in the form of ions and free ions free electrons types of batteries primary cell and secondary cell primary cell cannot be recharged again and again because internal chemical reaction cannot be restored but secondary cell it can be recharged again and again because it is a reversible reaction in a dry cells uh, it have a moist electrolyte cannot be supplied that is a sealed recharged cells or secondary cell it is a sealed electrolyte so it cannot be refilled again these batteries are examples of on the primary batteries it cannot be recharged that is called as the primary cells voltaic cell is another name of electrochemical cell during the chemical reaction electrical energy is produced here two electrodes are immersed in electrolyte positive terminals is cathode and the negative terminal is the anode chemical reaction will occur through the ter terminal electrical energy is produced this is the diagram for voltaic cell the motion of electrons in the ionic bond can be used in a generator of electrical current a device constructed to do just in this called a voltaic cell or a cell for the short this is the diagram here the two terminals are uh, kept in a beaker one terminal is cation and another terminal is anion the cation that is in a cathode anion that is in a anode common type of primary cell alkaline battery that is alkaline cell is a very good example for primary cell because it can produce 1.5 voltage uh, that is the current by the cell it is a longer lasting battery example zinc carbon cell here zinc is the anode and manganese dioxide is the cathode the what is electrolyte solution as known as potassium hydroxide it work with the high efficiency even with the continuous use low internal resistance this is the structure of primary cell at the bottom is the negative cover plated steel is available in the top positive cover plated steel is available inside the din that is a everyday battery inside the din the these are the contents are available this is the examples of on the primary cells alkaline battery is the very good example this is the secondary cell secondary cell is the example for lead acid battery it is uh, extensively used in a vehicle and another applications requiring high value of load current the positive electrode is made up of lead peroxide negative electrode is made up of spongy lead metal the electrolyte is sulfuric acid uh, how many outputs uh, what are the outputs we will get in 2.1 volt per cell cells are typically used in a series of combination of a 3 to 6 uh, volt battery that is 3 to 6 uh, combinations of cells are available it can be produced 6 to 12 volt uh, batteries are available Uh, this is the reactions so secondary batteries used in a vehicle have be reversible chemical process uh, the first one reaction uh, the forward reaction is the discharging reaction and the backward reaction is charging reaction uh, what is uh, discharging discharging means uh, when the using the batteries energy will be going to drown and uh, charging is uh, again when the recharging discharge the batteries react by producing a current flow in the external load circuit and the produced lead sulfate and the water uh, that's the reaction pb plus pb o2 uh, pb means lead pb o2 means lead oxide but uh, using the sulfuric acid uh, formation of lead sulfate and water 
when the batteries is going to dry we can recharge again uh, how to recharge means uh, lead sulfate when adding to uh, sulfuric acid again it will be recharged the batteries react to reverse current from the external energy source and produced lead and lead peroxide and sulfuric acid this is the recharging how to calculate how to work lead acid batteries uh, the automobile batteries might have uh, 200 armstrong per hour rating how long can this battery supply 20 amperes this is the calculation time which is equal to capacity divided by load current uh, this is equal to 200 armstrong uh, into hours divided by 20 armstrong so totally it works in 10 hours the actual ampere hours delivered varies with the battery age and conditions, temperature and discharging rate. This is the discharging reaction. Uh, lead and lead oxide in the presence of the sulfuric acid, it will be form of lead sulfate. As the cell discharge more water is formed, lowering the specific gravity of the electrolyte. This is the charging of batteries. The charge produced 2.5 volt that is 15 volt for the uh, uh, 12 volt battery. As the cell discharge more water is formed lowering the specific gravity of electrolyte here lead sulphate and water to form the lead and lead sulphate that uh, lead oxide and sulfuric acid. Thank you for watching this video. See the next section. Thank you.